All right, so you're home, you wanna practice some mallets, some mallet runs, some scales, uh, you know, whatever, and you can't because you don't have an instrument. But we're also stuck in quarantine, so what are you gonna do? What are you supposed to do? Because who has an instrument? Who has the money for an instrument, right? Well, I'm gonna show you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this box. It's literally, it's just an old speaker of mine. It's not really old, but it's just a box. Got some stuff in here. I'm gonna take this outside. I'm going to take all the stuff out of here. Then I'm gonna rip up the box. Um, not really rip it up. I got a box cutter. I'm gonna cut it meticulously. And I'm gonna show you exactly what, what you're supposed to do to make an instrument at home. All right, so I got the box outside. So I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna cut it up. I'm gonna cut it into a, as you can probably guess, a the shape of a board, of a keyboard. So uh, let me let me do that. Alright, <clears throat> so now I have a just a flat board, right? So I'm gonna get this last flap off here. Alright, that was actually uh, a lot harder than what I thought it was gonna be. Alright, so now I got it on the table. I got gray duct tape and white duct tape for the naturals um, and the, uh, the, the accidentals. I almost called them the naturals and the flats. It's not not quite right, but I mean, literally, you don't have to use white or gray, or you can use all gray, you can use all black, um, you can use all white. It doesn't matter. Um, it, it's really preference. Um, like, there's several different ways to do this. Um, I, I'll I'll show you a few different ways. I mean, I'm not gonna do it, but I'll like I'll put up for you to see a couple different ways to do this. But um, yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. All right, now if I did that right, it should be, definitely doesn't look perfect, so. A, B, C, nice, it's, this is uh, exactly a four and a third octave, I believe. Like, I should have started it down here a little bit earlier where it starts going up the board a little bit. Oh well, I can fix it later if I want. So now I'm gonna do the, uh, I'm gonna do the accidentals now. so much glue on my fingers from this tape. My hands are so dry. I'm immediately going to lotion my hands. Obviously, it's not very pretty. I mean, I, I could maybe like sit and try to get all of these like perfect, I guess, but I really, I really don't, care honestly i mean most of them are pretty close except like these up here i mean they're not terrible i mean come on it's it's literally duct tape and cardboard like it doesn't have to be perfect um now if you wanted to you could like cut this section off to make it Fit a little bit better um i don't know if i'm going to do that right now or not uh what i am going to do is i'm going to go and uh label all of them to make it look neat so i will go get a sharpie i'll be right back it's time to label so we're gonna write I just wrote H. I just wrote H. Like I'm writing my alphabet. What am I doing? There you go, Ben. I am not a true musician. 
What am I doing? I'm like all over the place. But I can tell I'm not necessarily a uh, not necessarily a perfectionist. I don't think. I actually wrote H. Almost did it again. Almost did it again. Nice. Nice. And it's done. Bam. Here's our... Kind of big, huh? There's our instrument. Now, I would highly recommend having better handwriting than I do, but as you can see, it kind of works. And I mean, if you really care about like this kind of thing, like where it's just kind of fringed in writing H, yeah, don't do that. I mean, I don't really care about this personally, like how it's not like perfect, especially right here. I don't care personally. I mean, it's just, it's just something to kind of look at. I mean, they're kind of sort of rectangles and it's like super easy. If you wanted to, you could cut, you could cut like right here and then up here to make it a little bit easier or not easier, but I don't know, make it a little more uniform. But I, I mean, this is fine for me. And I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, if you really wanted to, yeah, it kind of just, it folds up to like a little portable instrument, just like that. Uh, let me see here, let me unfold it. Yeah. And there we go, it still looks, it still looks great. And there's your, so I guess maybe don't cut that part so that way you can uh actually fold it and make it look like something so yeah there's your uh your, your portable your portable marimba and it's four and a third octave too if you have like a big enough cardboard box like i did it's it's perfect so there's that now of course there's like there's multiple different ways to do it i mean you saw a couple different ways that i showed you um i mean the easiest way is honestly to like maybe do like two octaves of like one color duct tape and put it on like your floor maybe you want to do like a wood floor or a uh, like a tile floor you definitely don't want to do like concrete or like pavement like outside or something because um, it'll ruin your mallets and also keep in mind like while you're doing it while you're uh, practicing or whatever you don't want to use like your performance mallets from your school you want to use like just some old raggedy mallets I mean you don't have to be raggedy just because you're not necessarily gonna be like tearing them up especially if you're on like a wood or um tile floor you're not gonna be tearing them up but you're gonna be like putting more wear on them and getting them dirty and you don't really need to do that so grab like a used pair um you, you know you can do this with two or four um and then of course there's like times when you don't need something like this but you know whenever you do need some notes and like just some muscle memory to try to get the get the notes back in your hands while you're practicing at home i believe this is a great way to do it so um i mean if you don't have a cardboard box i mean i'm I'm sure you do somewhere lying around. It doesn't have to be a complete four and a third like this. Um, it can be two, it can only be one. Um, I mean, to practice just like scales. I mean, one octave, um, I mean, I guess you would need two octaves to to do scales. So I, I would go for two octaves. Um, so that way you can practice your scales, which is probably gonna be the most important thing, I think, out of this. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of things. I did a very, I won't say poor job, but like, I don't, I just don't care about my handwriting or like perfect squares. If you're going to do it, like, like, re, I mean, you don't have to really go for it, but I mean, maybe make it a, look, a little bit better than mine, but mine was just kind of like a little project I wanted to do to show you all like what you could do. So, um, yeah, definitely go for it. Give it a shot and uh, happy practicing.